What's up, people? How's everybody doing, man? I was in a good mood, but now I'm not. For y'all that don't know who I am, for all you new subscribers, the new fam that's joining the Grayson Way, I be Ron G. So, today's topic, I want to talk I want to talk about spiteful ass people. You know what I mean? I, I, I know YouTube don't want all the cussing and this and that. But you know what? Sometimes you need to cuss. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, y'all? Sometimes. I'm not saying it needs to be in every sentence and every it needs to be every word. But when you're talking about spiteful, mean ass people, they like. Spiteful people is like cancer, man. It's like they like they soul suckers. They they really just try to take all the life out your mouth. They try to take all your soul, just suck it right out of your wherever. You know what I mean? They just oh. Anyway, you just. When you got soul suckers in your life, man, you got to figure out if you can still maneuver. You still have to figure out if you can still function properly every single day when you have these soul suckers, these spiteful people, these, I call them, my definition of a spiteful person is, you know, the, why you so, you know, they're poison. Venom. You know what I mean? To me, when, you, when a spiteful person is there, that's just that's just venomous. They just they just try to when you're on a high, they try to bring you on a low. You know what I'm talking about? Like I don't understand why you like I get it. You know what I mean? I you can you can talk to a lot of my family members. You can talk to my moms, and you can talk to hell. You can talk to my wife. I, I was very spiteful. You know what I'm talking about? I was very spiteful. I was mean. At one time in my life, I was a cancer. I, I I just wanted to just make everybody feel bad, just like how I felt. And I don't I didn't even know why I felt bad. You know what I mean? I, I didn't at the time it was like it was normal. And that's sad. That's sad when someone says being mean and spiteful and a hurtful person was normal to you. And it was for me. It was normal. And as I grew up and got older, because let me tell y'all something. Karma, <laughs> y'all may not believe a lot of things, but karma, karma is a bitch. And karma has bitten me more times than I can count. Karma, I'm telling you, I can't do nothing wrong. I do it wrong, it's coming back to me 10 times fold. I'm telling you, every single time I've done something that I should not have been doing, it comes back and it just rips me a new ass. I'm telling you. I don't know about for some people. Some people, you know, they may feel like karma is nothing. They probably just thinking, well, why am I going through this? Because my car broke down. I, all of a sudden, my car is working fine, and two months later, I need a whatever. Or, oh, man, I was in good health two years ago. What happened? You know what I mean? Now I'm, you know, I'm sick. Now I'm sick and this and that. I'm telling you, man, karma, <laughs> you got to watch yourself. You got to, it, it's, I understand when you're around people your entire life, when they are just, going at it and what I mean by going at it just it's just a norm being around family and friends when they're uh you know mean you know just straight up mean you know just being a mean person so you think in your head that is normal I don't care if you are a smart person I don't care if you are a smart person you still may assume somewhere that oh well 
I've been around this my whole life. This is normal. This is nothing. You know what I mean? I get around other people. Let me tell y'all something. I probably said this in a, a, a video a year ago. Uh, we moved, when we moved out of Jersey and moved to this state, I used to get people to smile in my face. And I used to look at them like they had chicken pox. I'm telling y'all. I'm And I'm talking about every, anybody. You know what I mean? They can just look at me and just give me a friendly smile. And I'll give them one of these. Nothing. Just stone face. Like, what What, what are you smiling for? It's nothing, it's, it's nothing to be smiling about. Oh, something in a row, so I had to stop. Uh, yeah, there's nothing to be smiling about. And I probably, I'm pretty sure I've said that in, I don't know, maybe a hundred and some odd videos back. But I'm pretty sure, I mean, I used to say some hurtful things. I used to say hurtful things to family and friends. Uh, I used to say some hurtful stuff. So being being a poison to the people that love you is, is, is bad. And that goes for whoever loves you, man. Friends and family. You gotta check yourself. You and when you got those friends and family members that's checking you, like, man, what's your problem? You, we here, we love you. We trying to tell you, you know, you wrong, man. You gotta check. You gotta fix yourself. You gotta fix yourself. Come on, man. Like, you know, we all telling you this for a reason. And uh, and I'm gonna be honest with you. And that has a lot to do with in society as well. If you're a spiteful person, a mean person, uh, um, just just not just not nice. That goes for that goes for in in life as well. So if you got a job, if let me let me ask you guys a question. I want you guys that whoever watched this to put it in the comments. Have you ever? I have. Have you ever met someone at your job? This, and and you got into a conversation and you said, "Hey man, uh, what you used to, what you used to do before here? Oh man, I had I, I did this job." I did that job. You know, before I got this job, I worked at like three different places. Wow. Well, why you work at so many different places? <laughs> you know what I mean? To me, I mean, I'm not telling you guys I'm the, but I, I'm just saying, if you are a human being in two years or three years, let's say two years, let's go with two. If you are a person, unless you just getting a bad deal, you know what I mean? That is understandable. I'm not trying to look at it one-sided, but if you a person that's that had a job or had jobs in two years, and we talking about you ran through five jobs in two years, it's not the companies, man. It's you. It's straight you. You know what I mean? You you don't you don't work well with others. You got a big mouth. You have a mean mouth. You have a spiteful tongue. You have a way about you that people is not trusting you. There's something wrong. Every single company didn't fire you because you got a bad break. Sometimes you gotta fix yourself for you to get somewhere in life because I don't care what happens, I'm telling you. When when, when you sick, I'm hoping, I, I let's forget the hope. I pray because I'm telling you, when someone in your life that you love get sick and there's no money or health benefits and you looking around and everybody you cared about and you got a handout and you wondering why nobody's helping you think about all those times where you was an ass think about all those times when you were spiteful think about all those times when you were mean think about all those times when people asked you to can come over their house or can you help them out with something and you always found a reason to not help and yes two wrongs don't make a right but how in the hell do you expect people to help you i'm talking about anybody that's watching this that's spiteful or mean and not nice i'm talking to you how the hell do you expect anyone anyone to help you when you're not nice how you expect anybody to help you when you just be crapping on people. I'm telling you, when you crap on people, there's gonna be a time in your life, maybe not, but it may be a time in your life where you need a hand and you need a handout and you're gonna wonder. And then you're gonna start saying because 
you got that devil whispering in your ear talking about nobody's helping you because they don't like you. Nobody's helping you because they jealously. Ain't nobody jealous of nobody, man. Think about all the stuff you did to that person. You can it's hard to help. And it don't even have to be money. It can be if you need to if you need to move out of this place or if you need um if you need a ride or your car broke down and you're trying to get to work for a couple of weeks. When you and even nice people get the the crap at the end of the stick too you know what i mean but it's not all the time you know what i mean and if they do man i i, I didn't even do it and i apologize to you you know what i mean like let's be honest man i, I even apologize to y'all if anyone is nice and they still get crapped on because i'm telling you i used to crap on people all the time and i'm telling you, i got it i got it all back i got it all back so i do my best not to crap on nobody I do my best to not just be mean for no reason. I'm not trying to clap back at nobody if it's not necessary. You know, if you're just saying words here and there, you just move on with your life. Life is important. And tell me, man, people are doing some crazy things out here. And it just life just doesn't matter to a lot of people out here. So you got to fix yourself. You just gotta fix yourself. Spite, it's a lot of spiteful people out here. You can't, anybody that's watching this, you trying to tell me you don't know nobody that's spiteful or mean or just being an ugly human being. And I don't mean ugly face. I mean just being ugly on the inside. You just your insides is all spoiled. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying you gotta sit there and help, help, help because sometimes you may not be the answer to help that person that's mean. Maybe you're not the answer for that. You know what I mean? Everybody isn't the answer to help that particular person or people or even your own family that, that's just straight up nasty like that. You know what I mean? It's it's really it's really a shame when people you care about and you just realize how nasty they are. It makes you just sad on the inside. But you know, my question, my question to my people that are watching this video what do you do that's my question to you because i don't know what to do what do you do you leave them alone you keep them out of your life you just you know you wouldn't touch them you don't speak to them i don't necessarily want to do that i don't necessarily want i don't want to be around the person or people for the rest of my life I'm okay with seeing this person or people or whoever it is that's spiteful and mean and say mean things or bad things or just a hurtful person. I don't mind being around them every now and again, but I'm not trying to make a habit of being around them all the time. And that's the key. You can love everybody. Just love them from a distance. You know what I mean? You can love everybody and just love them from a distance. That's all you got to do. This man's making his right turn and he's staring at me wondering who the hell I'm talking to. <laughs> he was interested in my conversation. <laughs> that was funny. But that's my question to y'all. My question to y'all is what do you do when you have these people in your life that are spiteful and mean and just hurtful and they don't care who they hurt. They don't care who they make feel bad. They just don't, what do you do when you're trying to improve yourself? What do you do? Just spot, I got, I just feel like talking, y'all. A lot of, you know, just a lot of things going on. And, you know, sometimes it's okay to ask, ask the public. It's okay to ask the public, what do you do? What do you do? I would like to see some comments. I would love to read y'all comments. What do you do? And I just, not just I'm talking about, I'm not just talking about my situation. I'm talking about anybody's situation. What are you doing to deal with your spiteful person, your meanful person, your person that's hurtful? What are you doing? You know what I mean? What do you do? What are, what are you doing to try to uh, settle down the situation, <laughs> I would say? Uh, what do you do? That's my question to you guys. I don't really have anything else to say about this matter. I just, you know, I, I would just like to see some comments. I would love to read some comments about what do you do when you have spiteful people in your life? What do you do when you have spiteful people in your life? 
I'm gonna sign off with that. Everyone, I'll see. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I say I'll see y'all in the next video. How about y'all will see me or me and the lovely Dawn in the next video? Peace, man.